Hey guys! In this video we are going to look at the next thing you're going to need to know which is how to deal with pictures. A lot of our questions have pictures and we can't just like copy and paste pictures into Slack. It does not quite work that way. So uh, this guy has already been formatted. I'm just going to copy it all and paste it over into here, right? This is how I create my um, arrays and then my first step I'm just gonna make sure that everything is size 12 because that's gonna make my life easier okay so uh, obviously we start out this is a 23 equal sign we gotta start this thing now we have this quote and so for our first question this is a 23.1 colon uh, and then we're going to have the title end. and uh, let's have two spaces. So we've got our question up here and we need to figure out what to do with this picture. No, no I'm not going to save it then. Here's what we do. Windows has this fancy thing called snip and sketch. If you have a Mac computer there is probably an equivalent. I do not know what it is. Um, the old version on Windows used to be called snipping tool. Snip and sketch is their new one. It's pretty awesome. I like it quite a bit. Um, so you take a new screenshot, boop, here we go. Make sure that it, you know, doesn't look like garbage. Okay, cool. This is good. Um, and then if you needed to, you can like, like draw stuff on this, right? Whatever. Oh, cool. We're gonna like, look at this thing and here's an arrow and like, let's circle this or whatever. Okay. My drawing is all like terrible right now because, um, I, like don't have very good control over this pen, but that's the idea and you can do that. Um, you can actually use this also during class at any point in time if you need to take a screenshot of something and say, hey, by the way, you know, here's what you're looking for. You got to go check out this. Do you see this up here? You know, all that kind of stuff and you can use it to show students things um, in a fairly simple way. Just total side note there. Uh, but here's what we're going to do next, right? So we are going to save this. Um, I just generally save it with whatever name it gives me. It saves to my downloads. That's fine. You just need to know where it's going to be so that you can go get it. And then I need to get a uh, Windows tablet over here, Google tablet over here. And I'm going to go to Imgur. Upload is already saved. If it doesn't have it, you know, it usually says new post at the top. Uh, and we're going to browse. I'm going to find this picture. I'm going to open it. Once it is complete, it says upload complete up there. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to copy image address. Not copy image, not any of these other ones. Copy image address, right? Okay, cool. So we click on that, go down, and I am going to insert that link and that's it right so that's the whole thing and then if I do uh, you know the alert uh, the answer is six okay and then that's done uh, so now I can from the array at least delete that and I'm ready to go into my next question uh, there no still trying to save it <laughs> uh, so if I pull up nope this guy sometimes these worksheets will have uh, a corresponding answer key and that can really help you, right? So you can pull this up and say, oh, okay, well, I know the answer is six, but you know, this stuff is here. You know what the Pythagorean theorem is, but maybe you know some of these other ones. Um, if you just don't feel like thinking, sometimes the answer keys are there and that's really cool. Uh, so you can kind of keep that side by side and, you know, and use these um, for the answers. Uh, that being said, so if we just sort of do this again, I'm going to walk you through this process one more time. Right here's our second question, A23.2 colon star. Awesome. Um, here's the text. We're going to go to the end of that. We're going to have two enters. Enter, enter. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I just auto save all the time. And now we are going to pull up our snip and sketch. We're going to take a little snip. We're going to save it as whatever it comes up as. Save. We're going to go to the internet's new post, browse. We're going to pick the second one. It uploads, copy image address, go back, paste it in there, and there we go. We're now done. We can put the alert in there as well, you know, stuff and things, whatever that is. And we're ready to do our next question. Right. Uh, so that's how this thing works. Um, the other key thing is, uh, Imgur links that are inside of the question are um, super easy to handle. They unfurl inside of uh, Slack. So um, if I were to come up with uh, some kind of a question, uh, that one actually, 
um, it doesn't unfurl. But so this is like a perfect example, right? All of these gifts, they're all stored. Um, all these things unfurl. And so we've got, you know, all these little picture images that we have saved inside of our thing. Uh, and it all, it all comes up, right? So um, the images will unfurl inside of the question. If it's inside of the alert, though, it will not, right? So anything, if you put an mgrn link inside of the answer key for the instructor, so the alert is the hidden secret thing that the instructor sees. If you put um, an mgrn link inside of there, it will not unfurl. That means that you, the instructor, have to click on it. It's going to open a page in your web browser. Um, and it's like a whole, it's a bit, a bit of a process, right? So especially if you have a small screen, I have two screens. That's really great for me. But if you don't have two screens, it's going to be less great for you. Um, so in general, if you can avoid it at all costs, try never to put an image in the alert. Um, so, you know, whatever it requires, whatever discussion, whatever anything inside of the alert is fine. Uh, in a lot of these cases, you just don't need it. But I mention it because there's this convenient answer key here. What we do not want to do is take pictures of all of these answers and then upload them as, you know, image links. It's not going to show up um, and it's not going to be helpful. So, you know, we're just going to want to put, you know, the, hey, the answer is five. Hey, the answer is four root two. Hey, the answer is M, whatever, or M root two and stuff. Uh, that's what we're going to write on right in the uh, alerts. So that's all for this video. Questions, send them my way. And that's it.